Hello again. With just nine days to go, the October surprise is here. Hurricane Sandy threatening a massive stretch of the U.S. from Virginia to New England all the way to the Great Lakes. It's already caused both candidates to scramble their schedules. It will complicate both campaigns' efforts to get their voters to the polls. We're going to get into that, plus our latest ABC News Washington Post poll in just a moment. But let's begin with our weather editor, Sam Champion, leading our storm coverage from lower Manhattan. He's following the track of Sandy right now. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, George. And let me show you first the satellite picture, which will show you this storm is basically one of the largest we've ever seen in the Atlantic Basin. We'll move quickly to the hurricane track. The latest out from the Hurricane Center completes this storm. Well, actually feels exactly the same way they did several days now, making a left-hand turn toward the coastline by the time we get into Monday. Wind field from this storm is incredibly impressive. We've got tropical storm force winds 1,000 miles across in this storm and hurricane force winds about 200 miles across. It basically means it doesn't matter where this storm comes on shore for anything other than the storm surge, which is expected to be about four to 10 feet high. After that, wind and rain in a very large area. Let's go to Matt Gutman. This storm, by the way, is cruising by the coastline and Matt's at its closest point in North Carolina. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Sam. It's still about 250 miles away, pushing the 60 mile wind gust right in here. And this looks like some sort of semi-apocalyptic storm. This is not snow. This is sea foam boiled up by the ocean. The waves out there are about 30 feet high just beyond the coast here, and it's kicking up this very strange phenomenon of sea foam. While a lot of the folks here are accustomed to hurricanes and storms of this ferocity, what they have not seen is this cold combined with it. It is absolutely cold out there. And hour after hour, Sam and George, it has been getting colder out here. The weather is intensifying, and it's just going to get worse. This is just a sliver of what the folks up north are going to see. George, 